Hey everyone, uh, tonight I just wanted to make a really quick video in reference to an article that I wrote last week. The essence of it is that it's early 2024 and already we're seeing uh, a number of major automotive manufacturers have uh, cloud security misconfigurations that have been discovered by security researchers. Now, I'll link the article um, in the description of this video if you want to look at it. But in tonight's video, I thought it might be interesting to take a look from a CNAP perspective and really just see what type of alerts that you would get if you have the proper security tools in place. And then once you've been alerted, how easy it is to actually go about remediating these types of issues. So uh, let's jump over to the system and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are in the CloudGuard risk management dashboard. Uh, this risk management dashboard is kind of the central hub for, in, in my opinion, the purpose of a CNAP, right? Like this is where we bring all of the data that we've collected across all these various sources and feed it into one dashboard that shows you your top priorities and riskiest assets. Now, if you look right up here where we have the top security issues, you can see the second one uh, is been rated as a critical issue. This is publicly exposed storage asset containing sensitive data. This is exactly the type of issue that is outlined in scenario number one in the article. So let's take a look at that issue and see exactly what type of information is presented and then how it might be remediated moving forward. Now we can see that this is an S3 bucket over an AWS called credit card information. It is partially public, uh, has been deemed sensitive information by our DSPM module. And this is essentially an integration we have with Amazon Macy. Um, you can see that the data classification has been pushed over so that you get a good look at what this is. This is PCI information. Uh, and you see a risk score here for this overall bucket of 7.4. Now let's look at the asset a little bit closer and you can see a lot of the same information, but uh, the top five remediation actions where I wanna draw your attention because the very first one is that we should want to ensure that the S3 buckets are configured to block public access. Let's go ahead and fix this. Okay, so now that we've drilled down, we can see an overview of this issue. You see the severity of the, the alert there being critical, uh, the date and time that it actually popped, uh, the compliance engine is the source of this data, a title, rule set, et cetera, right? Now, if you wanted to remediate this issue, it's not very difficult. So let's go fix it. Remediate now. You're going to select a cloud bot, and these cloud bots are pre-configured with uh, CloudGuard to have various functions. Uh, we are going to go to S3 block all public access. Then I need to grab the SNS endpoint. Okay, so now that we have gone and grabbed that SNS endpoint data from our AWS account, we can uh, drop that in here and execute. Now, what you're gonna see is that this happens almost instantaneously. So let's take a look really quickly. Here we can see we're still in block all public access. Watch what happens. Boom, just like that. We have just remediated that problem. Uh, now the agent's gonna run back to CloudGuard here in just a few minutes and let us know that we have actually solved the issue. But you can see right there live in my AWS account that this S3 bucket has now been remediated for public access. Uh, I also have just received a notification from the email alerts that you can set up that a remediation was put in place. Uh, and that's something that you can customize or set up uh, if you find that necessary. Another thing that you could do here because the fix it is kind of a one-time remediation. But yeah, so what you could do if you wanted to create a more permanent solution is you could actually go in here and create a new remediation. Uh, go by rule set if that's something that you wanted to do. Um, we're going to leave it as remediate by environment. This is the uh, AWS environment we were just operating in. Remediate by entity include the entity name, uh, add the cloud bot that is applicable to the situation. You can create comments here and then save it. And that will actually automatically, as this uh, type of issue was to occur again in, you know, in the future on this um, S3 bucket, automatic remediation, no questions asked. And you just get an alert that, hey, we found this, it's been remediated, no problem. Okay, yeah, yeah, I mean, so that really is the beauty of the CNAP platform, right, is it gives you uh, kind of everything under one roof, right? You get alerted to the situations, you can drill down to as much information as you could possibly want, 
you can also go ahead and remediate the issues uh, right there from the consoles. The second uh, situation I wanted to take a look at was actually a code security issue where the short of it is essentially that an employee credential was left in a public GitHub repository. And then with that credential, you could actually get all the way to the source code, which is wild. I want to show you from a code security standpoint, how you might can prevent that and what sort of information the CNET platform can provide for you there. So let's jump back over to the system and look at our code security module. Okay, uh, and now that we are actually looking at the environment, you can see that there are a ton of various alerts here. Something that I feel like is very comparable to what happened uh, in the Mercedes uh, exposure would be leaving a password encoded right there in the public database, right? So let's take a look and see what might happen here. Here we're looking at a visible te uh, Terraform database password. And if you click up top here, it will take us to a playbook. Um, this is gonna give us a quick look at what's entailed in an issue like this and then how we might wanna go about fixing it. Uh, if we go back in here, we can see a bit more information uh, and then we can actually click view source in file. And this is something I find really, really cool. So you can see now, after having clicked on that link, that we actually are in the GitHub repository in the specific file, and it highlights the very line where the problem has been detected so that you don't have to guess, you don't have to go hunting. You can literally just get in there, remediate your issue. Okay, so that's been a look at how a CNAP can actually help you start to solve the most common but most frustrating issues in cloud environments, right? Um, misconfigurations, they're going to be a thing because we're all human and we all make mistakes, but they don't have to plague you like they have the rest of the industry for the last several years. If you have the proper security tools in place, you can get alerts right as it happens and you can go ahead and remediate everything from under one interface as easy as you've just seen today. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.